this is Vasavi from At Home. In this video, let's uh, learn the relationship between the coefficients and the roots of the equation. So first, let's see what is a coefficient and what are roots. Uh, the coefficient is a number which we see before the variables. Okay. So in an equation, you may say like this 3x squared uh, minus 5x or something like this. So the numbers before the variable, you, you call them coefficients, okay? And these coefficients, you say along with the sign. So the coefficient of x is negative 5 and the coefficient of x squared is 3, okay? I've given you a few examples for the coefficient. And uh, if you have a negative sign, you take that too along with the number, okay? And the roots. The roots are the values of the variables used in an equation. So when you look into, say for example, the in equation which I wrote a little while ago, this one, 3x squared minus 5x minus 1. Here the variable x, okay, the value of this variable is known as the roots of the equation. So for a quadratic equation, you normally have two roots because we know the order of quadratic equation is two. So you have two solutions for it and these solutions are called roots. See the factors are listed here. So you can say x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 equals 0. So what we do is we just equate it to x minus 1 you equate to 0 and you get the value of x as 1. Okay. By adding 1 to either side you get the x as 1. And here the second one is 2x plus 1, right? Equate that factor also to 0. So first you take the 1 to the other side. So it becomes 2x equals minus 1. And then you divide throughout by 2 and you get the value of x as negative 1 by 2. The x values are called the roots. Normally in a quadratic equation like ax square plus bx plus c, Say, you, we know the standard equation is like ax square plus bx plus c, right? If you take a, a standard equation like this, quadratic equation like this, we know that the constants a, b are the coefficients and the values of x is root, okay? So now we, have, we know what the roots and coefficients are. We are going to see the relationship between them. So let us take the standard form of an quadratic equation that is ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. I take this as equation 1. If I divide throughout by a because I just want the x squared to be bare x squared. Okay, I don't want the coefficient for the x squared. So I just divide throughout by a. So what happens is the same equation becomes x square plus b over a okay i'm dividing throughout by a right so that's b over a x plus c over a equal to zero over a which is zero this equation let me take it as my second equation now we know i just uh, divided the first equation and i got the second equation so I know that equation 1 is equal to equation 2, right? Just a small difference. I've just made a little uh, difference in the arrangement. So equation 1 is equal to equation 2. So that means both the equation will have same roots. Let me proceed with the second equation. So the second equation is x square plus b over ax, right? plus c over a equals 0, right? So here, normally the real roots we know, the real roots are, we've already seen that as alpha and beta, right? We take the real roots as alpha and beta. What are the factors? If alpha and beta are the roots, let me put the alpha and beta in terms of factors, okay? So that would be, x minus alpha and times x minus beta equals 0, right? So when I put this as a factor, the factors are 
x minus alpha and x minus beta. So when I multiply the factors and equate it to 0, I get the quadratic equation. So I I am just using the foil method, okay? I just fo I am foiling it. So what happens? Your x times x becomes x squared. And then this would be minus beta x. And now the inner terms, so that is minus alpha x. And then the last terms, that is plus alpha beta, right? So now I got this equation. When I rearrange it in a proper way, it would be x square minus alpha plus beta. I can put these two terms, the like terms together. x, right? Plus alpha beta equals to 0. Let me take this one as equation 3. Okay, now equation 2 and 3 are same, right? So I can say that equation 2 is equal to equation 3. So I'm just putting them together like, you know, it is x square. Equation 2 is x square plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0. And here, uh, this is also equal to 0. So I just, I'm not using this 0. I just write x squared. Both are equal, right? So I just write x square minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta. They both are equal. Now we know that the x square x terms are same. So you have got this is equal to this, right? This one is equal to this. And the c over a, the constant terms are equal. So I have got b over a is equal to minus alpha plus beta because the x coefficients they both are x coefficient only thing is this equation we have written in terms of a b and c and this side on on my right i have written the equation in terms of alpha and beta that's all okay otherwise both are same so i equate the x terms uh, together so that is i get b over a is minus alpha plus beta so i can say my alpha plus beta is equal to negative b by a did you get this okay now let's take the constant terms that is you know that c over a is equal to the constant term in this side equation is alpha beta so the product of alpha the roots the product of the roots is equal to C over A. Got it? So the alpha plus beta is the sum of the roots is equal to negative B over A. And here this alpha beta is product of the roots and that is equal to this is equal to C over A. Understood? So we know the relationship between the roots and the coefficients. The roots, when you sum them up, you get minus B over A, B and A being the coefficients. And when you find the product, it becomes C over A. Understood? And with this sum and product we can also form frame uh, the quadratic equation so i can write the quadratic equation like this using these roots like you know it starts with an x square you have a negative sign and then you write sum of the roots times x plus product of the root equals 0. So you can also frame the equation, the quadratic equation as such using the roots and uh, we know how the roots are related to the coefficient. So if you know the equation, you can find the roots and if you know the roots, you can also find the equation. 
We will be doing some problems based on this in the coming videos. See you. Bye.